Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Oop, I'm gonna tip you over. Let me try to, there we go, the color. Happy Thursday, I hope everybody's having an awesome Thursday. Today is actually my son's second birthday, which is super exciting. I'm just waiting for our guest to get on. Let me see, there she is. Let me add her. Go down. Add. For all of you that don't know, this is Girl Power Take 5 to Ask 5, and I invite people on from my health and fitness community to ask, ask them the same five questions. So you guys can hear from them and hear about their lives. And this is Emily. Emily Hernandez. And Hi. She lives in Alaska, <laughs> which is like super cool and super dis different. And we actually met through coaching. She's also a coach. And um, I get to see you in July again, which I'm super excited about. So Emily lives in Alaska. She's got a passion for photography. I don't know if you've seen any of her stuff, but definitely check it out. And she loves traveling the world. And one day she says she will live in Mexico, which I think is so powerful instead of like, I would like to, or I dream of, she's like, I will. One day I will live in Mexico. So I'm going to ask you the five famous questions. Are you ready? I am. And it's kind of choppy. So you're good i think so i think we're good okay so what is your favorite health food and how do you make it okay so you said what's my favorite health food yes okay <laughs> just want to make sure um so i would say probably like salmon i like to eat a lot of salmon out of like all the foods that I could have as like my favorite one, like my go-to meal would be probably like salmon, broccoli, and like sweet potatoes. Like I can't get tired yeah. of it. Yum. How do you make your salmon? Um, it's like super easy. You just like throw it in the oven with like, you can put everything in the same pan and I just put like lemon and rosemary on it and it is so yeah. freaking bomb. It's good. Oh, I can eat it every like day. Yeah, I do it. I just like chop the lemon up and put it on top. I actually like to do capers too, which a lot of people don't like capers, but I like the capers. Hmm. What is one item that you cannot live without? What is one item I can't live without? <sighs> mm, I, it was kind of tough because I was sitting there trying to think about it. Probably my phone, only because it's like my camera. Like, it does everything and, like, keeps me connected. But mostly, I just love the camera part of it. And it's, like, super small and compact that I can just take anywhere. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I have a Canon Rebel, and I use my iPhone camera more than I use that camera. I feel like it's similar quality, and it's just easy access. Yes, I love it. Yeah. I know that sounds so, like, basic, but... No, it's not basic. I don't think I could live without my phone, so I feel you. I mean, it's just the way things are. What is your favorite current TV show? So my favorite current TV show is probably Grey's Anatomy. I was, like, kind of late to that train. I'm, like, still on, like, season 12 right now, but, like, I don't know. I feel like it's gotten worse. Like, like, I feel like I'm so far committed with this show that I have to finish it. But, like, the beginning seasons were, like, my favorite. Like, I cried probably every single episode. I'm sure everybody does. But, um, yeah, now I'm just, like, so deep in and I have to just keep watching it. <laughs> I was a Grey's fan. I, I, but I fell off. I think I only made it to season, like, four. And I had no idea that there is 12 seasons. How many is there total? Oh, my God, yeah. I think there's like 15 or 16 and I just like one day went down like a Netflix rabbit hole and just like kept watching and like you wow. just get addicted so you just have to keep watching. Yeah I had no idea that there was that many that's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you had one piece of advice for little Emily what would it be? Um, well it's really deep. <laughs> I probably would say, like, believe in yourself and don't, like, let negativity in. Like, really, if you have a dream, like, go for it and don't, like, listen to the naysayers. 
it's crazy. I think we lose sight of that as we become adults. Like our, our, our parents or um, peers in our lives will tell us like, you can do anything you want mm -hmm. and you can create, like you can go for your dreams. And I feel like a lot of us do, we let the negativity in and then we forget about that. So that is like super powerful advice yeah. for, sure. Mm -hmm. for sure. What is your, do you listen to music when you work out? Oh yes, I have to. Okay. I love it. Well, what is your favorite song to listen to when you work out? There's so many. I would say, I don't know. I have like a playlist, a certain like playlist that I listen to. And it's pretty much all just like really dancey. Um, hmm, if there's one song I can listen to right now. Uh, I don't even know the name of like the artist, but right now it's like, it's, it's called body. I'll have to like post it in the comments, but it's, I'm sure it's like one of the most popular yeah. ones out there right now, but it's like a, I have a whole like playlist of dance songs. I have Spanish songs. I think it just depends on the mood, but I always, yeah, I love music. Yeah. I think I personally, like, I can't listen to the same songs like all the time. You have to switch it up so often because it just like kind of re-motivates you in moments, but I haven't heard of that one. So definitely post it in the comments. Mm -hmm. I listen to music when I work out, mm -hmm. but when I actually started this and I ask people questions, there's a lot of people who don't and they're like, Oh, I don't. Do you have an app or do you do iTunes? What do you listen on? I started, I did iTunes for a while, but I feel like Spotify has just like leveled up in the market and their like music is amazing. And I'm like all gung ho for Apple, I have all Apple products, but like they just don't have the same type of music. And I just love that like they suggest, like if you don't know what to listen to, they literally like suggest playlists for you and they always turn out like exactly what I want. So I'm like Spotify. <laughs> yeah, they do like what's up and coming that they think you'll like. They do daily mixes there. I, I've been ride or die for Spotify for like years now. And people are like, I remember way back in the day, they're like, it's lame. And I'm like, no, 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 you just don't even know. And now everybody's using Spotify. It's so good. It's like the Netflix of music. It really is. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> so it's funny, like I, I usually um, I for a while paid for Apple and Spotify just so that my grandparents can listen to Apple. <laughs> But I completely oh, that's switched. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Um, so, yeah, those are my five questions. Thank you so much for being on, Emily. And, oh, my God, I cannot wait to see you in July. I miss your face. I know. I'm so excited. We, I'm we so excited. We talk a lot. Obviously, I was, like, on my last live, we had a little mishap. I'm like, oh, let me call you real quick. But so I met Emily through the coaching community, and she's one of my friends via social media. And I absolutely adore that. And thank you guys for tuning in. And leave any questions below that you have anything we talked about. And we will answer them in the comments. But thanks so much for hopping on. And bye, Emily. Yay. Bye.